And there is Wilson, who is about as overwhelming a favorite as we have seen here at the World Championships. Well, it's just a matter of what way does he want to run this race. Does he want to go for the world record? And he's probably the biggest favorite for that as well. Or is he going to wait until next week or somewhere on the European circuit? He can run this race any way he wants to, from the back, from the front, from the middle of the pack. Everyone else is running for silver. And, of course, there is a, a bonus of $100,000 for setting a world record. But, as you say, he probably is intent merely to win here. Mark Everett is looking to win, too. Uh, has he revived his career? He had somewhat of a lull in recent years in big meets. But here he is in the final at 800 meters. In lane one is another American, Rich Kana from Arlington, Virginia. He just turned 27 years old on Monday, so has celebrated his birthday while here in Athens. Bronze medalist at the World Indoors has a real good late closing kick. Lane two, Veb Jorn Rodal of Norway. With Wilson Kip Couture not competing in the Olympics last year, Rodal won the gold medal in Atlanta. Bronze medalist in 1995 at the World Championships. 800 meter final is underway. They'll stay in their lane through that first turn. Kip Couture starting in lane five. Let's also remember, Mark Everett has the second fastest time in 1997 at this distance. He ran 143.20, besting his five-year-old personal best just a, less than a month ago. So he has the speed and the abilities. We now see him speed up to get right behind Wilson Kip Couture at the end of that very fast first 200 meters. So Kip Couture in front and Everett surprisingly in second. All throughout this competition, we've seen him come charging from far back last, in fact. And here he is suddenly appearing in the second spot right behind Kip Couture. It is a Kip Couture, Everett, and then Telez of Cuba, followed by Cantella of Kenya in fourth. Rodal of Norway, currently fifth and trying to move up. Then Kana of the U.S. in sixth. Very uncharacteristic of Mark Everett. At 200 meters to go is usually when you know which Mark Everett is going to show up, but he looks great right now. He's in great position to get a medal. Kip Couture starts to widen the advantage. Everett trying to hold second. Now Telez moves past him. Everett dropping back as Cancella also comes up. Now Rodel blows by him, and his teammate Rich Kanab passes him. So Everett is fading badly. Meanwhile, up on the front end, Wilson Kip Couture continues to lead. Telez of Cuba is in second. Cancella of Kenya is third. Then Rodol and Kana coming to the top of the home straightaway. Wilson Kip Couture is in front. Telez of Cuba is there. Then Cancella and Rodol, and they won't be able to catch Wilson Kip Couture. Increasing the advantage as he comes to the line. Rich Kana making a bid for a medal, and he might have gotten third. Meanwhile, Everett struggling home last after pressing the pace, but it was no contest really. Rich Kana with a gallant run might have netted him the bronze just at the line, but really the race for the gold was no contest. This man did it as easily as you can imagine. Here he is, Wilson Kipkiker all by himself at the line. Telez second, now here it is, Kana coming up on the inside. Did he out lean Cancella? Wow. And now, yes, yes, Kana did get it. Kana brought the bronze medal. Wow, Rich Kana came charging through the straightaway and just barely collected the bronze. And he doesn't know it yet. Fourth. Wilson Kipkater, no question, best in the world at 800. 